You're going to need that for this wild ride. Oh my god, you have a director's chair now. Okay, shut up. What? You telling me to shut the fuck up? No. Will you be my cameraman permanently if you can have a chair all the time? I'll do anything if I can have a chair all the time. <laughs> We're on two bars of battery, so I'll just keep that one in line. I'm going to play some fire, like... You know, like fire and like whiskey music and like a little, a little. <sighs> that sort of situation. No? Okay. So here we are, finally. I've succumbed to the YouTube world of copying video content because I can't think of any or I can't be bothered to make my own. So um, I've actually bent to the will of everyone who's asked me since I started doing this that we're now finally going to go through Enzo's wardrobe. Everything but shoes, because that's fucking long. But yeah, you're gonna get a sneak peek of small sections of my apartment, and uh, yeah, it's gonna. I'm gonna show you material that goes on the body, my material specifically, and these different bits of material fit in different ways. And um, yeah. I'm not going to show you everything out straight away. If you have any questions about little bits, I'll be happy to answer questions. But in fact, I might show you everything, but and just like tell you the brand of some and speak on some bits and not another. But let's just fucking look at some banging clothes, bruv. I'm sick of editing, so I'm trying to, you know, get more videos out there and uh, give you some more shit as opposed to more shit. It, they're all shit, but more. I'm trying to give you more of less shit. Shit that's... More... Le shit. I'm going to stop giving you shit. Okay. Oh, first piece that I've just seen that's on the floor. Uh, Junior Watanabe bag that I need to wear more often. I forgot how to put these things on. This isn't going very well. This is not a clean start. Okay. Um, I'm not. What, am I going to do accessories? With, shall I do accessories with shoes as well? You know, I should do accessories. Accessory. Yeah. No, I've got my other bag and I've got my rings and shit. You know, you sniff me. No. Okay. Anyway, first piece. Is my custom Prada leather shirt, which I think was made to order unless Seb lied to me, my friend Seb, uh, and it was actually just from, you know, gonna be delivered anyway, but I'm pretty sure it's custom. It's one of my favorite ever pieces. There's nothing like this. I love fucking bowling shirts and I've never ever had anything as, as special as this. And the colors are just fucking insane. And uh, who doesn't want to look like they belong to, like, you know, like a fucking, I don't know, BDSM bowling team? Yeah, so, so got a lot of me fun memories in that shirt. The next one is my vacation shirt, which is literally vacation shirt. Um, this is covered in boobies and dragons, and it's not actually mine, it's a friend of mine's, and uh, pretty sure he wants it back, so I'm gonna swiftly move on. Wait, really? Yeah, it's Kay's, and I think he wants it back. I, well, I, I borrowed it and just, it's now mine, so... We borrowed it in Miami. Yeah, I know, that was a long time ago. That was two, I've had this for two years and this is someone else's. It's a good start to my wardrobe collection, isn't it? This isn't mine! <laughs> um, next is my uh, Celine shirt. I'm sure you've all seen this. This is one of my all-time favourite shirts. It's actually women's, but it came in like super duper huge size so it can fit short, fat, bold men like me, which is great. It's one of my favorite all-time fucking shirts. This is gonna be really boring because all my shirts and everything is my favorite all-time. I've got a fucking banging wardrobe, bruv. Do you know what I mean? This the doth one sniff me. You know what I mean? Are you gonna point out your favorites too? Are you gonna get involved in this? The Celine shirt's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's fucking sick, isn't it? And the vacation and the, one, the I fucking... hate it. <laughs> okay. You know I hate it. Every time you wear it, I tell you I hate it. I know, I know. Okay, next is this Holly fucking leafy twiggy print shirt from Hyder Ackerman and it's 
such a fucking all-time favourite. The sleeves are like half length, so they come down to near the crease of the elbow. And just everything about this shirt is fucking amazing. I don't actually know if I fit in this anymore because I haven't worn it in a long time, but the this is going to be kept forever. It looks like Post Malone's forehead tattoo. It does look like Post Malone's forehead tattoo. That's true. You're fucking copying me, Austin, you bastard. <laughs> Next. Dries Van Noten canvas shirt. Unbelievable techers in the fucking grailed world. Love this shirt to death. I need to think of some other words. Our Legacy Acid Landscape. Sure, I had this shortened slightly. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but it fits so much fucking better if it's been shortened, if you get it in a bigger size. Um, I need to shorten everything because I'm four foot. Next, I also shortened this as well, and it's really, really boxy. I'm not sure if I ruined it or not, but it's um, it's a very, very cool piece from Pariah Farzana. Don't know how to say her name. Super offensive, I'm sure. I've mashed it up, but yeah. Fucking awesome stuff. She does these Iranian print shirts. And this was just one that, like, I've seen it on loads of fucking different celebrities and shit. Not that that really means too much, but yeah, this is one of my favourites for sure. Again, everything's my favourite because I actually like the clothes I wear. It's fucking weird. Calore, short sleeve shirt. Fucking special shout out to these amazing little silver buttons on the side and stuff. Makes me look like a male nurse. Unreal fit. A very, very recent purchase of mine from Greg Lauren. I was in two minds about this and I'm not sure because it's a bit long for me, but I, I don't mind it. And um, I took it to LA recently and it was just very, very cool. And it's growing on me a lot. I try and get things that are proportional to me so they actually look like they're meant to, but you know, this is um, banging. What do you want? You need to lift it up like way higher because that one's actually long. So you oh, can't okay, see. yeah, I get you. So yeah, thanks. You can editorialize. We've got no professionalism on this program, show. YouTube, whatever we are. Fun fact cool about piece. Greg Lauren, though. Oh yeah, fun fact about Greg Lauren or Greg Loren. He's Greg. He, he's, he is Ralph Loren's nephew or cousin or whatever derivation of family member he is. But yeah, they're related, and that's why he has all these awesome materials. Next, from my favorite family of branding people, Acne Studios. I butchered the fuck out of this shirt because I had it shortened completely and the sleeve shortened. It's a very, very big cocoon size and the shirt itself is awesome. I love the matte print, um, but I'm not six foot tall so I can't make it look excellent from the get-go. Next we have another Calore shirt. This is a gingham seersucker zipped shirt. Nice staple. Fits very well. It has like a little band at the bottom. So you're really going through every piece. Yeah, fuck it. I, I can. I'm gonna do it quick. Uh, it's got like ribbing at the bottom, so that's very very cool. I think this is gonna be shorter than we think it is. I'm not gonna go too much into each piece. I'm just gonna fucking explain. I I'm gonna go like, <laughs> you know, rapid fire. <laughs> okay. Next is a Martin Rose print shirt. I had this shortened in the body, but I kept the shape of the back being a bit longer. Fucking one of the best prints from the season, super, super cool. I love the light blue, the color palettes. Always awesome, she always does really fucking cool stuff. Alcoholic beverages have been spilled on this. Good party shirt. Next is a basic one that I really need to wear more often, which I really love. Very boxy, because it's like stiff material. It's like a different colored pinstripe stripe shirt from Acne, from the same season as this one, which I got them together. Very, very nice. Need to wear it more often, because it's just got that fucking fat dad fit which i love and next is one of my favorite all-time shirts that's one of those things that like you never wear a lot which is super dumb this is one of my favorite shirts and i got it recently um from past season from marnie but as much as i love it it's one of those things where i just like i don't wear it but yeah the just fucking green and blue so awesome one of my friends james and i'm sure all of you know him um, he has a uh, Comme de Garçons shirt which has like mixed green and blue check and there's just something about these two colours with all the white works really really well together and I love it a lot. Next is another Acne shirt, I like that brand, I don't know if you've noticed. This is the fucking softest shirt you will ever touch in your entire life. It, yeah, it's just a, an amazing beige staple. This one fortunately the length's fucking awesome, I don't think I had it shortened. Um, just a nice straight cut at the bottom, yeah, fit me very, very well. This next shirt, I really fucking need to wear more often as well, which is like, a, it's called the Safari Jacket. It's from Heider Ackerman. Fucking love this cross detail that he does on the back. But yeah, just an awesome fit of jacket. 
I don't know what to wear it with anymore and I love it so much and I should definitely wear it more. Next I have a Gucci silk shirt which I had the sleeve shortened on a little bit but the body's still a little bit long. I might have that a little bit, you know. One of my all time favourite party shirts, the fucking red is so nice. I don't think it's silk, I think it's like fucking Cupro or whatever that fucking shit's called. The next one is fucking disgustingly dirty, is um, my apron. Japanese sort of uh, chefy situation Yoji shirt. It has like this little flap. And uh, yeah, it's very special. It's a very, very, it's, it's nice for my evening and you, you tuck the back in a bit longer and it kind of like billows out of the back. It's good. Good flowy, flowy shirt for, uh, for dinner that I always wear. This one, I'm super sure that the neck doesn't fit me anymore and it'd be very tight if I was to wear it, but this is a very, very classic Dries piece for me and it has this fucking insane ribbon detail on the side with their little like trench coat detail stuff from it. And um, this is one of the most special shirts I own, but I don't think I fit anymore because I'm fat. I ran at the gym today because I want to get back into all of these clothes. Very, very special shirt for me as well. Another shirt that I often wear for dinner is this one. It's my Prada shirt. I don't know what fucking name it is. I'm surprised I've been listing all these fucking things off. Need to wear this a bit more, but yeah, very, very cool. Love the colors on the collar. Next is my gold La Mer shirt, which I kind of want to have taken up a little bit in the body, but um, just absolutely love this color. I bought it ironically for a little Prada event and it's got this nice little like shimmer to it. And I don't really like gold stuff, but this is one thing that really reached out to me. It was in the same season as beautiful pink shirt as well, which is um, similar shape, but when you fucking spill water on it, it stains it permanently. What kind of bullshit is that? Sort it out on there. Okay, next. Next, we have to take a moment because this is a very special piece to me. It hasn't even had the tags off it yet. I got this and I'm gonna reserve this for an insanely special moment, maybe my wedding. No. But yeah, this is a fucking cool as shit. Comme des Garçon, pink, sparkly, fucking sequin pleated shirt. I'm blues. I fucking love this. It's so insane that it's just amazing. And I, if I ever get famous and I have to go on TV, this is the shirt that I'll wear to every single interview. Whatever breaks me to get famous. It's probably man cares about wardrobe too much. So that's all my shirt. I have a little two drawers of things down here, which I might film in a minute which is like stuff that doesn't fit me anymore, but it's two full fat drawers of like shit that just, I love, I can't get rid of. I might do that in another video, I'm unsure. It keeps you on your toes. Anyway, next, can you tell how quickly I'm trying to get through this shit? Next, I have a jumper that I bought at the LNCC, which is my plain black jumper. It's super cropped and it has this awesome like fucking tingy sleeve detail. So the sleeves go up nice and high on your arm. It's by Catherine Hamner, and it's a collaboration with the YMC. YMCA? YMC. YMCA. YMCA. Do you know what the YMCA is? YMCA. I've worn that thing so many times I've never noticed there's anything on the sleeve. Yeah, it's because you don't care about clothes like I do. Um, but yeah, this is a um, plain black jumper that's just the ultimate fit. Like. It's going a little bit on the collar and I don't give a fuck because I will just remake this until the day it dies or it just smells beyond belief because it's just the most perfect fit basic black jumper you could ever wish for because, you know, if you're dwarf size like me, the crop really helps. Next is my Balenciaga plain jumper. I'm not the biggest logo fan at all, but... I really like this plain logo and it just looks like a vintage like builder's jumper while still being way too expensive and pretentious enough to make me happy. So yeah, I need to really fucking wash that as well. The fucking neck's dirty, bruv. Needs to go in the wash. Is it for me? Huh? Yeah. Wash my stuff, please. One time I wore that to uni and... Did you get makeup on it? Is that yeah. all that is? No. You fucking I do have a few Yeezy pieces and the Hyper side, it does make some cool shit. I love the fit of this jumper and the red is a really, really cool colour. I bust this out every now and again when it's really warm, uh, when it's really cold and yeah, it's just a fucking cool 
grailed piece, and I don't think people will make jumpers like that. Plus, not in this shape and colour anyway, because I've never seen a colour like this. Plus, thumb holes. They don't actually line up to where your thumbs need to be. They do for me, because I've got normal sized arms. Next is my Wales Bonner. Creolite. 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 Uh, jumper, which is an insane fit. It's got the really thick banded hem at the sleeve and the body, and it, the love the thick banding of the neck as well. And it's just a really, really nice color and an easy, cool, basic kind of logo y. I'm not the biggest logo fan, but not really. Situation. This one, which has been through the fucking hell and back with me, is an oversized Dries plain, like navy sweater. Um, it's super oversized. It's not my aesthetic that much anymore, but. I love it to death and I still wear it every now and again, but it's just the it's just a, oh, such a good, plain, basic, oversized piece. It's kind of makes me want to wear it right now. Uh, Gosha Touch Kidski. Not too sure about wearing his stuff after the scandal anymore, but if it's a fucking good jumper, it's a good jumper. And this is a very, very cool piece. I'm a huge fan of the Prodigy, so this Prodigy homage logo um, makes me very, very happy. And I love the colour and this double neckband as well, it's a very, very cool idea, but yeah. Fits awesome, super tight around the waist, so you have a little billowing situation at the bottom. Very, very cool. Alright, now to hoodies. Um, my latest hoodie. Am I missing a hoodie? Oh, this is my latest hoodie. Ha ha! Ha! This is my latest hoodie. It's a Telfar People one, and I love their stuff, but... I have a very big appreciation for their brand, but it's not my style and it's not my fit either. So when I see it on the right people, it's really, really good. But this was something that just like, um, yeah, fit me well. And their logoing works into making it look like a sort of vintage jumper. And uh, yeah, just love the fit. You get a little like tuck situation going on here. You get a nice little... It's not on frame. Keep trying. Step back. No, 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 no. Go backwards towards the shoe boxes. And then go near your tippy toes. But yeah, um, I really like this. Talking about not liking logos covered in logos. Perfect. Two seconds. Fuck. I really need a wine sponsor. Alright. Uh, next, my second most recent hoodie purchase. Um, Hydra Ackerman, this is the Perth hoodie. Now they always make an amazing tracksuit set with this, which I kind of want to get if the uh, the joggers go into sale, but the joggers aren't a super duper sort of, um, they're not as appealing as the hoodies to me. The fit's really, really cool. Again, crop baggy body. The really, really drops sleeves and shoulder work really, really well. And they just saw this beautiful yellow hoodie. I've really, really wanted a fucking yellow hoodie for a long ass time. And uh, this one came along and I had to just, you know, eat it up. Next is uh, one of my favourite styles of hoodie and my favourite brand of hoodies actually is Vetements. Um, this is a GmbH collaboration and it was just a fucking awesome fit of a hoodie. Cool. Cool. I like the fucking whole situation when it makes you look like a builder. I've got an obsession with that. This is like a builder's hoodie. It's really, really cool. And it just, yeah, the fit is so fucking awesome. And again, I had a little bit of a yellow face, so... That's it's down in the dumps now. What yellow face? You got that like three years ago, two years ago. What other yellow do you have? Can you stop questioning my methods? You're lying through your teeth. I had a yellow face in my head. <laughs> That's what matters. Okay, next. Um, went through a grey phase. No, I'm kidding. Uh, next is my Sinners uh, Balenciaga hoodie. A lot of people who I hate how they dress have this sort of like hoodie. I don't see many people with the grey, but the fit and the colour is just so perfect that I just kind of like ignore this a little bit. It's not too obnoxious. Like the red that I have on my cap's quite cool in the cap form because it kind of looks like something else, but like the black hoodie with the big red is a no no for me. But yeah, this is really cool. I would like a plainer, this coloured grey hoodie, but it's just the fit is... We should get one from Yeezy. Oh, shut up. No. We should get a Yeezy hoodie. You're it's absolutely right. It's the exact right. wash of that. Yeah, I know. It's really good. Next is another Vetmont hoodie. This one is so fucking cool. It's my tourist, German tourist hoodie from Vetmont. Um, the fit of these motherfuckers is just so awesome. It's ageing really, really well. Um, it's just... 
it looked like vintage from the get-go, to be honest. Anyway, I've worn this so, so much. And I just love the colours. I love the fucking classic German phrase, which I've been told many times is uh, some sort of phrase from Germany that means something culturally somewhere. Someone. Just, yeah. Next, this one I got, and it's kind of like... I appreciate this a lot. I wish I could shorten it because it's super, super long on me. But it's a Wales Bonner hoodie that I love. It's got this sort of like Hinduism inspired uh, writing and uh, logoing on it. And I had the sleeve shortened, it's fine, but because it's zip, I can't shorten the body and it's super duper long on me, which I don't like. But this color is just such an insane color that I've never ever seen before. And um, yeah, I just had to fucking have that cranberry pinky looking motherfucker. I'm a big, big colour guy and just anything, when anything of a, a unique colour like that comes along, I just get super fucking happy. Next, I'll do these two together, are my um, GmbH fleeces. I got them in two colours because they were super well priced and I went on a huge, huge fleece fucking run in my head as well and I've got my Patagonia one and these guys just fit so fucking awesomely. And um, not being so heavily logoed as well, they can go with a lot. And I know a lot of GmbH stuff is very extreme in fit and or design. But these guys are pretty plain and uh, yeah, super comfy. Next, we have one of my fucking all-time favourite like light jackets, which is my Balenciaga bomber with the B. I've worn this so much, I've had it for so long, it stayed really, really well. The retail price of this was £450. This is a Balenciaga jacket that I got from Harrods. The retail price is £450. It's fucking crazy. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. It fits so awesome. I've worn it so much. And it's one of my favourite all-time pieces in my wardrobe, for sure. Um, next, which I've just pulled out of storage because I I went off it and now I'm kind of like enjoying it again, is my uh, Nike Marty and Rose jacket. I love this fucking logo and I love the little orange of Marty and Rose underneath. The fit's really cool, I love this. It just makes me look quite bulky and I'm not usually one to care about fit of, well, I'm not usually one to care about, that's, that's a lie. I'm not usually one to care about something that makes me look like bulky or like if trousers make me look shorter, I don't give a fuck. Like if it looks cool, it looks cool. But this makes me look so bulky on the shoulders that I'm like meh. But I've kind of gotten over that recently so I might put that back in rotation. Uh, next is a very, very, very nice plain piece from Prada. Um, got this at Browns, I think, ages ago. But yeah, just a very, very cool nylon piece. Super, super useful. I had a bit of a active wear, sort of like nylon techy wear phase for a little bit. But this is something that I will wear no matter what out of all of it. Because it's just a little fucking symmetry with a little grey. This is such a nice grey on the little pockets. My one and only blazer, casual blazer that I wear, which is still covered in foil from my dry cleaners. Thanks. Oh, fuck, I forgot my dry cleaner's name. I could shout him out. I think it's called Snow White. It's an old street. But he puts silver over your buttons so that they don't get fucked up. His name is Snow White. No, the fucking name of the thing Snow White. He's not a drug dealer. You just said, I think his name is Snow White. Oh, I think White. the name of the company is Snow White. So maybe he is a drug dealer. Maybe. Really nice, lightweight, plain. Issey Miyake. Blazer, Isimiyaki mainline, not on Plusse, on Plusse, which leads me to my only suit that I have, and here is the jacket falling off. Here is the jacket, is a grey pleated Isimiyaki blazer, and it's such a fucking insane fit. I'm not really one for traditional tailoring. I'm kind of into it a little bit at the moment. I'd like to get maybe one traditional blazer, but as far as it goes, this is so fucking cool for me. I love this piece. And the grey mall is just so, so nice. And then I have a white, fuck you. I'm gonna let it get dusty. I'll do it in a minute, all right? Can you tell the story about that? What? What? That yeah. shirt, what it, what it was connected to, what happened, why you're so oh, lucky. Yeah. I'm blessed. The train. I'm blessed. Holy fuck. Oh my god, should I go and get that mask? Should yeah. I go and show them the mask? Okay. So this quickly, this Prada shirt was given to me by Prada with a pair of shoes when I went to the Prada ball with them. And um, I went to an amazing, amazing ball. 
hold that thought. Let me go and show you the one of ten handmade, insane Venetian mask made in Venice that they gave us. Two seconds. Next to the sofa. I really want an excuse to show this off. And this is the perfect time to show this off without feeling too much like a dick. So, it came in its own little custom box with a little blue Prada pillow. Very, very cute. And um, I have my little. Put it on the radiator. And I, fuck you. I can't see it. It's not. It doesn't radiator. have to be in the shot yet, you weirdo. Bro. Um, Cover our address, please. I have my Royal Mail letter because it was from a the animal ball, which is held by the royal family, which is cool. That's my biggest fucking situation I've ever been to. It was very cool. So yeah, this is a um, handmade one of ten actual Venice in Venice in Italy, made by some amazing theatre company that make these beautiful uh, masks for balls. Um, and I was fortunate enough to be given one and be at this event for the Animal Ball for charity for animals, it's amazing. But the crazy story is that I was rushing home after I collected my tux and my fucking shirt and shoes and this and everything from Prada. And getting on the tube, I was so in a rush and so full of anxiety to get to this ball that the train that I was going to get on, uh, it's, it, it, the doors were closing and in a panic, I, the bag that this was in with the box I threw it in to the tube and left it on the tube with the doors closed. And it went on its merry way. And I was trying to point to people like, please, please, just like one more stop. I'll go on the next one, I'm trying to mime all these different things at once. And the only thing that I saw before it went away on the tube was this guy go, so that happened, and, and this I. This was the night of the. Ball. Oh yeah, it was this just was before, the day yeah. Before the night. And I um, nearly, very, almost shit myself. Got on the tube to the next stop, and as I was pulling up to the last point where the tube could stop, there was this lovely man and his family holding a Prada bag, which I would have definitely have stolen, um, and he gave it to me back at the next stop because I'm an absolutely massive idiot. You're also a lucky idiot. I'm the luckiest idiot ever. But yeah, so this is a very good excuse to show this off. <laughs> All right, to the next wardrobe. <laughs> wardrobe number two. Scarves, all acne. Um, you can see the colors, it's their Canada scarf. It's my favorite of all time. I have their big wash label one as well. Um, when it comes to scarves, I just like the fucking colours that I can do, they absolutely nail it. It's all very wintry colours, I should get some fun ones. My only fun one is uh, a Hydracum scarf that I use for black tie, which is a velvet one. Yeah, a bit rock starry for me, but whatever, it's cool. I got it for mad cheap, so I had to get that shit. <laughs> um, next, fuck me, I've got so much fucking clothes to speak about. Next is my knitwear. Or I have one of my little pleated jackets in here as well. But in this pile is my holy grail of RAF cardigans, which is this blue one, which I've got a massive hole in the shoulder at the moment, which I fucking love. Um, my insane Namacheco knit, which I just got recently, which is like one of four different colors, and it's just fucking a beautiful piece of art. I don't even want to wear it. I kind of want to frame it and it's just one of the best awesome jumpers I've ever had. Next is a very, very, very favorite piece of mine, which is a Raf cardigan um, from that collection where he just did insane knitwear and it's just fucking awesome, man. The shape, the colors, everything. If anyone's Japanese, you know what the front of this says and I'm going to put it up below. Yes, you guessed right. This is my Yoji sweater. I've worn this in Paris probably more than London, but I, um, I haven't worn this too much recently, but now it's getting colder and I'm gonna wear it. But yeah, just a very cool oversized fit and anything Yoji makes me. What? Next, very, 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 very infamous RAF piece. Um, this is a New York one, but it's the, like, the runway fit as opposed to the normal fit. Fucking awesome piece, loads of you shit fucking shitty fuck boys ruined this jumper for me for a while but I still have a huge appreciation for it and I think that is a hole 
that's coming through here as well. Or I might just be really scared. No, it's probably a hole. All right, cool. Wonder why they're getting holes. And last but not least, I have my really weird, fucking awesome colored lilac, very light lilac gray with a green stripe. Just an insane season of knitwear for Raf that I fucking love. I'm super, super happy I got. This is a beautiful purple knit that I have from Acne that I posted recently. Insanely soft, a little bit of cashmere situation going on. This is a uh, new GR Gosha thingy, sort of whatever his line is to get past the fact that he's a paedophile and he's rebranded himself. Love the fucking knit of this. I'm not really into those like vintagey looking knit stuff that's gonna kind of look like a grand eye jumper, but this piece, banging. Okay, next I have my um, Issey Miyake bomber, which is just, you know, me and pleats. You should have me. I'm enjoying this. Next, I have my, um, I'm gonna have to do so much fucking folding for you dicks. Plain, basic Prada jumper, but awesome color. Really cool fit. I would have every color of these if I could. This one, which I really don't want to drop, is a very, very fortunate piece for me to have, which is a um, cropped in the body, cashmere blue, baby blue, Celine jumper. I cannot wait to bust this shit back out in winter. But yeah, it's like oversized sleeve, really cropped, wide body. It's very nice. A piece that I don't wear too much that I really appreciate, but I'm not sure if it's my style or not, but I, I'm going to keep it because it's a beautiful piece of design, is this um, Elder Statesman jumper. I'd love to have more stuff from them. It's just fucking ridiculously expensive. But I know why, because this is the softest shit I've ever touched. But yeah, absolutely love the colours on this. Very, very cute. You're not going to see my trousers at this rate. Next is a plain black Tom Brown little thin knit that I have for anything like a little bit more formal. Nice little buttons on the side. And his little like grow grain, but it's all black. He did a he did an all black collection once for a tuxedo or something like that. So I got that shit. Now this is a very, 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 very special piece, which I haven't worn in ages. It's completely covered in dust, which is a disgrace. Which is my Jill Sander knit. Um, and in, I don't very rarely like polos or mesh, but this is such an insane top that I just had to get it. Such a beautiful piece. It's aged really, really well. Um, and I think it's completely timeless. I fucking love this and should wear this shit more often. Okay. Knitwear. Out of the way. This is a shitty pile of t-shirts that I wear when I'm DJing or playing football. These are my basic t-shirts. Um, next we have... There's a cute, there's a cute Balenciaga t-shirt in that pile. You should show them. It's really shit. No. Next, denim. Balenciaga, pink overdyed. Acne. This is on my dad denim. Super great wash. Fucking very lightweight, very comfortable, but still super good quality. Acne again. Dark wash, dad denim. And then I have my white denim, which I'm still super scared of getting fucked up, but I should really lean into that fact, which is a wide leg white Hyderachman pair, which is just fucking insanely beautiful. Um, but yeah, Hyderachman dominates my vacuum wardrobe. Next, I have my little jogger selection. Um, just brown, plain, Converse, ASAP NAS collaborations. And then these are the um, Stranger Things green Nike collaboration joggers. And then just some blue Patagonias that I throw on every now and again. What else do I have here? Oh, and then for my formal pair of trousers, I'm very lacking in trousers at the moment. I got real fat, so I can't wear any of my tailored trousers anymore at the moment. It's really, um, really sucks being fat. You'd know. Next, I have a black pair of acne tailored pants. Quite slim, just very, very good for any formal occasion. As I said, I'm fat and they've got an elasticated waist, which is just great. And yeah, just awesome. Awesome pair of fitting black trousers. The best, for sure. I love these and I would have every colour. And then, and then the last but not least of the trousers that I'm wearing at the moment, I have my uh, Rick Owens trousers. So, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we're good. Um, I have my women's ones, which is this beautiful orange linen colour which are fucking been with me for ever. 
another another pair of Rick Owens trousers which I have is women's as well it's like a thick grey material and they're the women's drop crotch fit a little bit nicer than the men's in total for, you're not fucking slipping off uh, yeah they fit a little bit better than men's for me um, but the ones that just slipped down that little bastards are my one pair of uh, the Rick Owens sort of like drop crotch classic trousers that he has I've forgotten the name of the model and I also don't know the name of the model for the other two, and I'm sure my friends at Rick Owens are going to shout at me for not knowing the, the model name. But it's just this raisin colour. Um, quite a drop crotch. The ta I really like the shape and they work very well with boots, but they're a bit more limited. I don't like them with trainers as much and they're not as comfortable as the other two. But yeah, awesome, awesome colour. I have my shorts, which are in just not massively interested in showing you all. These hidden at the back which I really need to bust out, which I haven't. Are oh, Silk Dries, uh, sort of like leafy, autumn-y coloured pants, that are like the pyjama pants. I haven't worn these in a while, I probably won't wear them until next summer, but I just fucking love those so much. But I've worn them so many times, it's an actual disgrace. I've got way too many pieces of clothes. Oh, I need to put those into fucking storage. And last but not least, for this wardrobe, oh, my pleats. I've wanted to hug them like this for a long time. And, uh, just, yeah. All my different favorite colors of fit and pleat. I think, I uh, how many? <coughs> oh, how many pairs do I have now? Forgotten. Anyway, how to store them? Spin them like that. Throw them on the ground, the best way. It keeps the pleats the tightest. But yeah, I now have fucking, I've got seven or eight pairs of them and they're just the best. But yeah, onto the final wardrobe, woo! And finally, the coat wardrobe. You can't see in this motherfucker because it's too dark, but um, I kind of need to get some new jackets and it's something that I don't invest in too much and too often, which is something that I should change for sure. But I think jackets and jewelry, they're gonna be the newest thing that I'm gonna invest in. So, finally, we have uh, an a cold wall Oakley puffer. Um, such an awesome color, such an awesome fit. I love the material. And I got into puffer jackets last year and very much enjoyed getting this, or last year before, whenever it was. Love that shit. And next is my women's, took me so long to find this, baby pink North Face jacket. I fucking love this shit. I saw so many fucking thoughts wear this and it made me really happy that I was also wearing it and some weird girl on the tube tried to make friends. No, it was at a party, wasn't it? Do you remember that weird mm. girl at the party who tried to like make friends with me because we were wearing it? It was it's like, you're wearing the same gun as me. It's like, Ugh, okay. She was like super drunk and remember she made us take a photo with her? Yeah, it was really weird. It's kind of fun, but she made it a bit odd. Next is my Craig Green karate fireman jacket a huge 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 piece when craig came out with this i was in love i went and bought this on my birthday a, a long time ago um i don't think i'll ever ever get rid of this such an awesome piece of design one of his most famous coats that he still does today uh what else have i got in here i have my uh yeezy check shirt padded nice and sort of trashy chic for winter <laughs> Man, this thing's packed. Next, which doesn't fit me anymore, but it's such a fucking awesome piece, is my Balenciaga cropped ski jacket. Um, got it from Dove Street Market, an insane, 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 insane piece. Just doesn't fit me anymore. So uh, I might have to sell it, or I'll probably keep it in my little archive, my little drawers, but yeah. Love this so much. I want to sell it, shit. I tried to, but people just weren't willing to pay me like 800,000 pounds, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, next, going to some technical stuff, is my Prada pullover. Uber, uber useful, super cool. Talking about logos and not liking them, that's one that I do. And I think it's really, I think it's just fun. It works with this really well. Big pocket at the front, just for rain. Uh, next. You got that in Paris in that really cute store, remember? Oh yeah, it's from the Broken Arm, that store. I love the Broken Arm. Next is my Christopher Nemeth coat. This is a fucking beast. Hand painted lines, um, awesome, awesome brands. Like a, a British guy who broke into Asia, 
just your cool ass coat man. My kind of like a duster from, if anyone watches it, it's always sunny. This is my fucking duster, love that shit. Oh, my acne coat that I wore recently. Um, I've had this for like three or four years and it's lasted me forever. It's such good quality. It's held its shape for ages. I love it so much. Such an insane color, great shape. I would, this is another piece that I'd have every color off because it's just such a great basic. Next is a very special piece to me, given to me by my lovely friends at Namacheco, which is just, a, I've never had like a insane runway coat as much as this, but you've all seen it. Oh, it's coming, oh no, it's not. Um, insane color, made by Kvadrat Textiles, which is who like Raf work with, and that's why Namacheco get these awesome materials and awesome colors, and it lasts forever, so for example, this, coat um, is made of a material that was actually meant to be for a couch so upholstery materials last forever and last but not least another thing you've also all seen which is my double-breasted Rick Owens mohair coat. Fucking insane piece. I got this with a friend of mine. He got the same one. Very fortunate. And um, yeah, just a fucking cool ass coat, man. I wear it for like dinners and shit like that. But I uh, I don't really wear it that much anymore. It's quite t uh, tight in the sleeves for me, but it's something that I'll never get rid of. It's just such a beautiful fucking timeless coat. I'm fucking out of breath from doing this shit, bro. Trying to rush and fucking do all these things. It's long. And that's it. I'll save my shoes for another time and um, I'm going to sign off quickly because you've all fucking invaded my privacy as, as, as much as you can do already. And uh, this is MTV. Welcome to my crib. <laughs>